Hi there, I am Roshan and welcome to the programming portal. In this video you will see how to copy data to clipboard in python. There are multiple ways to do that. You can use piperclip, pandas, pyqtify and many more. In this tutorial, we are going to see two different methods that is using piperclip module and pandas library. So let's get started. Piperclip is a third party library that needs to be installed in your environment. It provides a cross platform python module for copying and pasting the text to the clipboard. Right now it only support plain text. First we need to install the piperclip module if not installed in your computer. You can do that by using pip command. So you can open command prompt. So go to windows r and you can type cmd. Or if you have id like pycharm then you can open the terminal window. So you can go to view tools window and you can click on terminal. So I am going to use terminal window to install this module. So I can write pip install and piper clip. You can use pip or pip3 command based on your environment. So I am going to write pip install piper clip and hit enter. It will take few seconds to install this library. As you can see it has successfully installed piperclip module. So let me minimize this window. If you are using windows no additional modules are needed. But in case of linux or mac you can check the official documentation page for additional requirement. Link in the description below. So first we need to import piperclip module. So we can write import piperclip. Then you have to call the copy function with data as a string parameter. So I can write piperclip dot copy in a parameter I can specify the data so I can write data from clipboard this function will copy the text to the system clipboard and to paste the text from the clipboard you can use paste method so I can write piperclip dot paste I can add this into print statement so I can write print that's it. Using this method you can get the text which is present in the clipboard. You can also paste the data into notepad using Control V or your mouse button. So let me save this and try to run. As you can see it is printing data from the clipboard. If I try to open notepad and if I right click and paste. As you can see data is present in the system clipboard. Next method will use pandas library which you might be aware of. If panda is not installed in your system, you can install using pip command which we seen earlier. So I can open the terminal window. I can write pip install pandas. So it is getting installed. Along with pandas it will also install few other modules like numpy, pytz, so let me minimize this window. So first we'll import pandas. So we can write import pandas as pd. I'm just giving allies as pd. Next we need to create data frame without data. So we can write df or data frame equals to pd dot data frame. Here I can specify the data in a list. So data from clipboard using pandas. So data frame is similar to rows and column in a excel or csv file. Then we'll call to clipboard method on this object. So I can write df dot to clipboard and to print we can use pd dot read clipboard. So this method will copy the data into clipboard and using read method we can print the data. But this will not print exact data. By using this method some additional data will be included in the data frame. So let me save and try to run. As you can see this is from our earlier method using piperclip module. And using panda some additional data also added. Python will add the default index and header to our data frame. And clipboard may get added with additional data. As you can see 0 and 0 here. So to have proper output we need to set index and header parameter to false. So while copying the data 
we can set index is equal to false and header equals to false. Let me save and try to rerun. As you can see, this will not print the text output which we have seen in the clipboard module but returns a data frame object having columns and other details. This method will help copying large data set into Excel or CSV directly. If you want to test it, you can open notepad and try to paste it. As you can see, data is copied into the clipboard. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment and hit that subscribe button. Thank you for watching. See you next time.